Angel Flight is a dedicated group of volunteers who can assist you to reach medical services not available in your local area. Travelling with Angel Flight is dependent upon you meeting certain criteria, so please check with your health professional to see if you qualify. Angel flights are conducted by pilots in small, privately owned aircraft, much smaller than commercial aircraft and with much less room for passengers and their baggage. The types of aircraft are generally going to be a low-wing aircraft like this or a high-wing aircraft like this. Once you have been accepted, Angel flights will be organised and you will be notified of the arrangements by a member of the Mission Coordination Team. This illustrates what you can expect when travelling in a low-wing aircraft. Please be aware that some of our local airports will only have a small terminal with very limited facilities. Here you'll be met by your pilot. Please take the time for introductions and use this opportunity to ask any questions you may have. Your pilot will take you to his aircraft which usually requires you to walk out on the airfield. Please be conscious of your personal safety. It is a law that children under 7 years of age must travel in an approved capsule or car seat in a vehicle and it's advisable to use this in the aircraft as well. If you have a pram, it is important that we know this before you travel as we'll need to advise the pilot of its weight and dimensions when folded. We ask that your baggage is the minimum needed, packed in small soft bags. You'll need to step up onto the wing and then into the cabin. Make sure you only step where indicated. Note that some agility is required to get into the aircraft as space is limited and getting into a low wing aircraft is a bit like getting into a four wheel drive with just two doors. Often the pilot will need to get in first. Note the sensible clothing and footwear worn by the mother. Because of the limited seating, it may not always be possible for you to sit beside your child. You may sit up front beside the pilot and have the controls in front of you. Follow any instructions given to you by the pilot who will provide you with a headset and will ensure that you are securely strapped in. OK, now you're ready for takeoff. This illustrates what you can expect when travelling in a high-wing aircraft. Your pilot will take you out to his aircraft, which usually requires you to walk out onto the airfield. Please be conscious of safety. It is law that children under seven must travel in an approved car seat or capsule in a vehicle, and it's advisable to use this in the aircraft as well. Your pilot will secure the child seat and any luggage you may have with you into the aircraft. If you have a pram, it's important that we know about this before you travel, as we will need to advise the pilot of the weight and dimensions when folded. We ask that your baggage is the minimum needed, packed in soft bags for easy stowage. Ensure your children are properly secured in their seats. It may not always be possible to sit next to your child. In some aircraft, the pilot will need to get in before you. To board a high-wing aircraft, you will need to step up into the cabin. Make sure you only step where indicated. It will often be necessary for you to sit up front beside the pilot and have the aircraft's controls in front of you. Follow any instructions given to you by the pilot. They will ensure that you are securely strapped in and provide you with a headset as the inside of the aircraft can be quite noisy when the engine is running. Okay, now you're ready for takeoff. <laughs> 